Coming up, a segment from KTWU, your source for public television. Afterwards, don't forget to visit ktwu.org to make a pledge to help make more local programming like this. In some areas of Topeka, a species of lizard can be found that's not native to the region. Where did it come from and how did it get introduced? That's what we're going to find out in our first story. Welcome to the 13th annual running of the lizards. Today is the 13th annual running of the lizards. This is the 13th year I've taught this class at Washburn University, and each year I bring the students here and take them on a, their very first field trip where they learn how to to surround a lizard rather than try and chase it directly. These lizards are very fast, very agile, uh, and probably the only way you can catch them is with teamwork. It's a good first field trip, it's close to home. Uh, the kids uh, soon learn what I expect of them in the field, uh, and they get pretty active and, and chase the animals around. We have a great time, plus the public always shows up. They, they love going on the running of the lizards, and uh, it's certainly a lot less dangerous than running the bulls. Okay, I'm glad you're all here. Those of you who are in my Washburn University class, uh, herpetology class, please be sure and sign in on the sheet so that I know you're here and you get credit for the field trip. This is the Every summer, herpetologist Joe Collins hosts the Running of the Lizards in southwest Topeka. The participants are looking for the Italian wall lizard, which is native to northern Italy. It's a little lizard. The uh, particular variety that we have here has a green back. The scientific name is Podarsis siculus. Uh, it's a short fellow that eats insects and never saw a Kentucky Fried Chicken air conditioner it didn't like. So why are these people hunting for Italian lizards in Kansas? As it turns out, there has been a breeding population of Italian wall lizards in southwest Topeka for close to 50 years. Well, there was a gentleman named Dr. Charles Burt who opened a business here, apparently in the 40s and 50s, 1940s, 1950s, called Quivira Specialties on the northwest corner of 21st and Gage. They shipped amphibians, reptiles, turtles, and all kinds of exotic animals all over the world. I mean, people knew about him, especially over North America, and we understand it around the world. When he was here, of course, this area was not built up like it is now and he operated that business until he passed away in the mid-60s. Sometime in that space, in that, in that span of years, those lizards were either released or got loose. We'll probably never know which way it went, and it may be a little bit of both. I taught biology at uh, Northern Hills Junior High School in the Seaman School District, uh, freshman biology, and I got students involved, and we'd come out here and join uh, Joe's groups. Some students became interested in science simply because of this type of field trip. And since I've uh, retired from the biology position, I continue to do a lot of photography and work on field trips and uh, work with students. And in fact, I think I've got some of my former students here today that uh, are coming back to chase lizards. For a number of years, Topeka had the only breeding population of Italian wall lizards in the Western Hemisphere. But now we have new populations, as you can expect. Students uh, uh, and children and everybody else find out about them, and of course they want them as pets, so they take them home. So now we have really good colonies in Lawrence, Kansas. We have a good colony on the campus at Fort Hayes State University. But is this a good thing or a bad thing? The Italian wall lizard is an exotic species that has no business being in Kansas. And we know too well that introducing an alien species can have disastrous consequences. Some people might think it's a bad thing because it doesn't belong here. It's not part of our native fauna. Others think it's sort of cool because it's more diversity and it's sort of fun. And one thing that we discovered, and we, there's not been enough work uh, yet to say this for sure, but they do not seem to do well at all outside of an urban area. And we think that the reason for that is that there are big native lizards that live out there that will probably eat them. 
The biggest worries, I think, were whether or not it could transmit diseases to any of our native wildlife or any other lizards. And we've had some uh, research done on that by people at Hofstra University on Long Island and have uh, found no evidence of any transmission of any bacteria, any pathogens, anything like that, that could in any way affect other creatures over here. So, so far, the, uh, there's no evidence that we have a problem. So the Italian wall lizard has been living a happy and apparently benign existence in southwest Topeka for over 40 years. But it does make you wonder what else might be out there. As it turns out, the wall lizard wasn't the only escapee from Quivira specialties. Now there's a second beast also called the western green lacerda, which is a much bigger lizard, but it's a lot rarer and it is very, very difficult to find. In in the 13 years that we've been doing this, we have never caught a western green lacerda here, but they come in from time to time. It's from, uh, from Europe, western Europe. These will only move when, wherever they're born, if they'll move from their spot 50 meters and that's it. And then where the next, so they don't travel very far. Yeah, they're, they're, they're around, but they're, they didn't spread out. They're real tight in this neighborhood. They don't make the trip across the roads like the Italian wall lizard does. It goes everywhere. During the 13th running of the lizards, someone did manage to capture a western green lacerta. The group also caught around 50 Italian wall lizards. They're here. They have now spread in all directions. They've gone all the way as far north as the Topeka Zoo. Um, there are tens of thousands of them in the city, and I suspect that we can say that they're, they're part of us. In addition, there's another kind of wall lizard that's found in Cincinnati, uh, and it's just as populous as the one here in Topeka. Cincinnati and Topeka are the nirvana, sort of, for wall lizards in North America. Glad you could stop by to see a clip from KTWU. It's your input that helps make public television great. Consider a donation. Browse over to ktwu.org right now.